Nets. It was a uh, we were at I forgot what tournament. I think it was EGL, and it was actually uh, <laughs> I forget who it was K Brad. K Brad was doing was betting on Rochambeau, like <laughs> betting money every time, five bucks per. Wow, it was insane. In That's insane. insanity, insane. I, know, I would not do that. <laughs> no, I don't think it's worth it. <laughs> at all. I mean, theoretically, you'd come out even, but oh, okay. Default getting a couple good combos gets up tilt through platform though. Yeah. So I think I think Captain Crohn's does have the advantage on this one. Um, I feel like he's able to get in a lot more, and there's there's certain things like using his uh, his B attacks to mm -hmm. ooh, fast fall right past that ledge. I don't yeah. think he was trying to do that, but uh, he's he, got a good up B. So, ooh, yeah. wow! I'm I'm really liking that. Oh, and that air dodge was so nice. Yeah. So something default did there is he hit him um, so that he was in hit stun, wouldn't grab the ledge, and then got the grab off of it. So. Yeah. And Ooh, using that quick attack to get in, the one but thing no follow-up. I want to see up. default use more is he, uh, he doesn't utilize the kick, uh, quick attack as much as uh, mm -hmm. everybody else does. He uses it, doesn't use it uh, to, to rack up damage like other people do. Yeah. Ooh, that was a nice down B. Yeah. This okay. one, uh, Captain Crohn's, he tried to air dodge it. Oh, and a great uh, run away from that Raptor boost. Scary stuff in this game, especially when Falcon's sitting at that amount of rage. I don't know. I think he said... I think he's too high for the... Oh, no, there he is. There we Never go. Never mind. I was just about to say, he might be at the perfect percent or just too high. No. Ooh, and that down <laughs> smash. Good option. And up he's there, he's still though. living, though. He's Pikachu. He'll, he'll come back. Oh, he goes for it again. So, Captain Groan's picking up on uh, default tendencies for his quick attack. Yeah. Usually, he'll he'll go for uh, like a horizontal one and then kind of cut down towards the stage. That one, he had a good read, but... Just timing a little bit off. And there again, yeah. See, I kind of want to see him do down tilts instead. They're going to come out a little bit quicker, and he's actually going to get it off rather than getting the shield and then getting a, yeah. a punish on it afterwards. That's Forward throw. Ooh. Wispy Even, was trying. Yeah. <laughs> Putting him right to the ledge and hoping that uh, that's going to be enough, but he's yeah. not going to take it there. Ooh, good mash out. Gets Goes for three pummels instead of uh, an actual grab. Oh, there it is. That's back done. throw, yeah. That back throw will take it. Wispy right looks so shocked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hate Wispy. Especially for Captain Falcon, it's, it's not ideal. He's a jerk. I've seen it, though, that a sheep will be standing on the ledge, and they jump and do uh, needles, mm -hmm. and it pushes. Wispy pushes. Oh, off, no. And all the way down they go. Didn't realize that they were falling off. Yeah. It was with Sporky, actually. <laughs> that happened. He was kind of mad. I think. I'd be kind of mad. mad. I'd be more than kind of mad, actually. All right. So default uh, gets a down throw to up air, given uh, the Pikachu's version of a hoo-ha. Down throw up air is just... Insane. Ooh, good DI there coming out of Captain Crohn's. It's scary stuff because you usually are like, when you're at high percent, you're like, oh, if I DI towards the blast zone, I'm going to get hit and die. But he knows that uh, default likes to do his combos with that down B, so he's safe to just DI out. Exactly. What would be awesome to see from default do in, the, in that case is go for something a little bit different. Rather yeah. Than bait out that air dodge first and then follow up with either a, a neutral air or... Can't really Ooh, do much out but of it, that but one that's be it. Di crazy. was slacking a little there. Oh God's and, uh, on his side. Default taking that game one. He was at forty-four percent. That's pretty low percent. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I, I thought the advantage was in favor of, uh, of Crohn's here, but uh, I don't think he's able to get in on him as much as he, he's wanting. Mm -hmm. He's throwing out too many power. power yeah, he was to, throwing a lot of smash attacks that a, game. A few more tilts, maybe some some rapid jabs, just yeah. to rack up some percent, and then go for some sort of a, I don't know, some finish punish on. Uh, yeah, there, his recovery is not really easy to punish either as, as Pikachu because it's so sporadic like you have to like just throw it up tilts or mm -hmm. down smash and just trying to try and spike him but I don't know what would I you suggest you do I think um, especially in that game where near the end of defaults first stock he was at high percent trying to recover a lot yeah. of times and Captain Crohn's is going for like down smash hard reads and stuff like that yeah I feel like if you went for something like a rapid jab which you know has it's the the thing is with that sure it might not kill as early but he's got, you get that hit confirmed. And it's better than having no punish at all and then getting yeah, punished yourself. Exactly. <laughs> but that down smash there was working out. <laughs> that was a very... Okay. Again? So all right. I, I think a forward smash there would have been a little bit a little bit smarter. Because you you know that's what you're going for. Yeah. You're, you, that, that hit's going to come off anyway. And then it prevents you from having that extra hit that you can get punished off of afterwards. Because mm -hmm. there's a lot more lag than, than down smash does. All right. Getting that uh, down throw. Trying to get that... Up air, but a great air dodge coming out of default. Stark difference from last game. This is yeah. six percent to twenty, and it's <laughs> he's, he's figuring it out a little bit more. I'd, oh, in oh, no, that gimp! He's, he's no, coming he's coming. Oh, back, and he gets it up. 
Oh, he I, quick I, attacked right into that Falcon up B. Yeah. That was risky, though. That w it would have been worth it had he got off that gimp, but uh, yeah. Cool. I mean, when you're when you're a percent like that, and your opponent's like that much ahead of you, you're gonna like the smart thing to do is go for gimps. So the safe thing is try to like harass him out. But yeah. well, I, that I don't trade. I know what the trade was. What, what, what did he even use there? It looked like a back air from uh. Captain yeah, Thrones. yeah. I think it was a back air. Not, uh, nothing else would have killed at that. Point. Yeah, except a knee. But we would have seen the. Yeah, we would have seen that animation. Electricity. Sure. So uh, let's go with the shield a little bit too early there. Gets hit by the. Uh, the All right. Well, Captain Crone's at high percent here, so this default played the the second half of that stock and this stock really well. He's got he's got to watch though. He can't get him too high because his, his main kill move. Is oh, that F smash! Oh, almost killing. Ooh, oh, goes oh, for it again, but great angle selection see, there. I would have liked to see a, a, an up tilt from that. He's coming across laterally. So yeah. He, you probably have that opportunity to get it off, and you see it, it's telegraphed. It's very telegraphed, very slow. So. Yeah, I think he was thinking that uh, default was going to be a little bit higher, but Pikachu yeah. has a little bit of a drop down yeah. in the last half of that animation. Yeah. So. Ooh, that's still. Great still read of that Raptor yeah. boost, just rolls away and gets that up smash. So Kevin Crone threw out uh, a couple of those last game as well, and Default had the same reaction. He's not panicking at all, which is which is very good. Just going right to uh, just get away and then punish. Ooh, oh, that up air was so smart. Yeah. I thought it was going to go a little bit different. Yeah, it looked like he was going right for ledge, but then he threw out that up air instead and caught him, caught him slipping. The one thing I don't see from uh, Kevin Crone is... No nairs. Literally no nairs. Yeah. And it's kind of a power. Oh, that down smash. All right. So it doesn't matter if you miss uh, three down smash reads on quick attacks. <laughs> no, when you get the one that wins the game, yeah, you're, exactly. you're still feeling pretty good. But he, uh, I, I think the reason why he does that, too, is because he he knows that Kevin can either go a little bit past him or a little mm -hmm. bit before him. So, and so he wants to cover as many options as he can. Yeah. yeah. But it does leave him very vulnerable if he does miss. Yeah. That's and why I, I'm honestly thinking, like, the jab into something is going to be right, that's yeah. because it's such a fast move, and you can just turn around, like, pivot grab or something if uh, he goes behind you. And exactly. And if, if he's in front of you, just hit confirm it into a rapid jab. Yeah. I think that would be a lot more useful. But, uh, I don't know, he still manages to win a game, so. We're going to. Maybe the, we're wrong. Maybe we're wrong. The two worst stages in this game. We went to uh, oh Dreamland and now Lilat. Good God. This is uh this is jank for kind of both of them though. Because yeah. even Pikachu, like <laughs> he's gonna have to try and go a lot more on stage rather than yeah. for the ledge, just to make sure that he's not gonna get gimped by Lilat. And Captain Falcons, well, you know, that's that's just the nature of the character. You you're <laughs> you're more susceptible to gank uh, jank in that. Yeah. I don't know. And you gotta you gotta really uh kinda mix up the way you up B. Ooh. Oh my god, he what? got one hit of forward air to yeah, knock just, out that side B. Just cancelled it. Okay, they're just kind of rolling around, spacing each other out. There's the rapid job yeah. coming out. <clears throat> just rack up a little more damage, and that way you, yeah. you, you you've been landing those those power moves. You're landing fares and your fur. Sorry, uh, <coughs> forward smashes and everything mm -hmm. else. Like you might as well. I mean, you're gonna hit a down air eventually, right? <laughs> so just get some percent up, and then uh, throw it out there whenever he does a quick attack. And yeah. The best. All right, good dash grab. Throws him off again. Just kind of tries to set up for this edge guard situation. But Pikachu, oh my god! That freaking Falcon kick. Oh, He'll do that at that wow, percent. That, that, was, that was so early. smart. That was he was at he was at like early. 125 after the hit though, and like that's not that's not what you're expecting clearly. No. And that was reverse hitbox down B. That's really well played there from Captain Crow. Yeah, and you can see it too. He's even, uh, he's avoiding the ledge entirely when he's recovering. Mm -hmm. He's going straight up on a first platform. He's, he knows that he. If he's going to take a little bit of damage, better off taking it up there than getting hit by Lilat. All right, so they're both kind of playing a little more cautious now. Default realizing this is his last stock in the set. Yeah. Ooh, good. Uh, oh, Lilat, no. Just no. On him. And you know what? That's, that's a really good. This is Default's counter pick, too. So. Yeah, you know what's kind of surprising? Because this is extreme. <laughs> oh, oh, that's going to take it. Captain Crones with Captain that. Crones. With a two stock in game three, down smash is definitely the uh, <laughs> definitely the move to uh, to beat in this one. Yeah. Um, so I'm I mean, default played that smart at the start and getting uh, getting that F air hit to hit out um, the F smash, but the second hit of it is just awful. Like you you can't 